This was once the northern frontier of the Roman Empire. Hadrian's Wall, completed around 134 AD. A fortified barrier, 73 miles long, rising 20 feet high, dividing Britain from coast to coast. Built to contain and subdue the fierce tribes of Scotland, the wall would remain intact, manned by legions of soldiers for more than three centuries. The Romans abandoned Britain over 1,600 years ago, but even now, evidence of their military infrastructure can still be seen, right here in Northumberland. Ever since he visited Hadrian's Wall at the age of 10, William Cassidy has been fascinated by archaeology. He travelled the world as a Royal Air Force engineer. Now he spends his days uncovering the secrets of this ancient fort called Vindolanda. Once the front line of Roman Britain, this huge military complex is the most extensive ruin of its kind anywhere in Europe. It contains the remains of cavalry stables, infantry barracks, administrative offices, and even a main street along which shops and taverns once stood. Vendelanda was the largest of many military bases south of Hadrian's Wall. Romans haven't set foot here for over 1,600 years, at least not ancient Romans. Italian-born site supervisor Marta Alberti could well be walking in her ancestors' footsteps. Already, they've unearthed 400 carved wooden pages known as the Vindolanda tablets. Remarkable accounts of daily life at the fort, from troop movements to a birthday party invite sent by the wife of an official the earliest known letter written in Latin by a woman. <laughs> 